Bass on. Oh, it's a big bass. This is a big bass. Now we're talking. There you are. Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, you're going to see how uh, having a plan B, a lot of hard work and having the right gear can all pay off in the end. Mostly. <laughs> You'll see how it actually turns out, what I accomplished, what I failed to accomplish. But I want to get straight to the video today. Stick around to the end if you want me to go through all the tips, the tricks, and kind of a deep dive into the tactics that were successful for me out there. But for now, let's get to the video. I got some solid minnows from over there at Edgemere Bait and Tackle. Some real jumbos in here. And I can already feel this wind starting to blow, which surprises me because the forecast was calling to the next to the zero wind. <sighs> God, when it comes to the wind, you just never know. What I'm gonna do is trail one minnow behind me as I work up. But based on the satellite recon and from talking to my buddy, once I get farther up in here, I'm going to start seeing a lot of downed trees and things like that. I think that might be where we really get into them. Now, I think that when I had this drive out, I somehow turned the 360 drive completely around. Let's see what's going on here. Right now, forward is reverse and reverse is forward. Now, let's see. There we go. Now we're talking. That was pretty counterintuitive for a bit, for a bit there. <laughs> now we're cooking. Well, folks, I'm glad I consulted my Google Earth just now because uh, <laughs> I almost went the wrong way. There's ice. There's ice down the cut that I wanted to fish. Let's see if I can break it. Wonder how far this ice goes. <laughs> oh, the joys of winter fishing. Plan A, location number one, it's not going to work out. I've tried cutting the ice. It gets too thick. Option two, I'm going to lose about a total of two hours, but it's time to adapt and overcome. Ugh. So yes, folks, location number one did not pan out. I had reports as recently as about a week and a half ago that the bite was good there. Did the satellite recon, found where to go, but it was iced over. Luckily, I had a second spot planned out just in case this spot didn't work out. And that's something I highly recommend. Have a plan B, have a secondary location not too far away that you can get to if the first location for whatever reason doesn't work out. Now this second location required that I haul my kayak, not a short distance, but a very long distance, literally miles, to get back to these ponds in the woods. To do that, I used that heavy duty cart from Hobie. You can get your own at DelawarePaddleSports.com. I'll leave a link in the description. Very useful tool. And check out the other ones there as well, because they have wheels designed for beaches and all the kinds of terrain. Check them out. Fish, fish, bass. Not a bad one either. That's a good bass. That's an upgrade bass. Come here, I say. Yes. Skunk is out the boat. And again, that's on the American Snakehead Custom. There she is. Let's see. She'll come in at. 15 and a half 
Yeah, about 15 and a half. These fish are cold, but the skunk is out the boat. About a 15 and a half incher. Yes, American Snakehead Custom. Oh, it smells so good. Mwah. Now, while I let you get some air, I'm gonna, give, I'm gonna let you get some air for a few seconds, and I'm gonna weigh you. I actually have a scale, I wanna start using it. Oh, I left it in the car. Fudge muffin. <laughs> I left it in the car. So there you are, and there you go. She's off strong. <sighs> Skunks out the boat. And with the spinner bait too. Not the live bait, the spinner bait. Let's watch this 360 drive in tight quarters. The thing about it is it's so quiet too. So quiet. Only one problem. I gotta take you down for a minute so I can get underneath of this. I gotta go over there. Something keeps rising. Fish, fish on. Ooh, feels good. Feels good. Feels really good. Another bass. Another nice bass. Let's back me up. That's another nice one. Now that time the trailer hook came in clutch. That time, the trailer hook was needed. I'll bump board her just in case. I think she's about the same size, but she might be an inch or two. Might be about an inch longer. Let's see. Mouth closed. Close the mouth. Come on. There you go. Ah, close it. Close it. Yep, 16. That's an upgrade. Okay. There's fish number two again on the American Snakehead Custom. Mojo Bass Spinnerbait Rod, Shimano SLX DC, Berkeley X9, 40 pound test. Thanks, buddy. Mwah. And away she goes. Now, as I said at the outset, I am dragging a minute or two behind me as I fish these different ponds. It's an effective way to fish, especially during the colder months when the action gets slow. That way you're just maximizing your chance of catching fish out there. But I do highly recommend the use of a circle hook when you do it, and you're about to see exactly why. Ah, uh, I think it's another dang bass. Yep, <laughs> it's another dang bass. I can't stop catching bass today. I love that circle hook though, right in the corner of the mouth. <laughs> 16 and a half. <laughs> Just big enough to make me stop what I'm doing, huh? You rascal. At least you could have done was be like a 20 inch or something. Jeez Louise. Hey, hey, hey. Damn. <laughs> Come here. Ow. You rascal. Yeah, I know. One more bass. 16 and a half. Inching my way up, but not what we need. Where are the pickerel? You're not a pickerel. I love you, but you're not a pickerel. I just lost another bass right at the boat on the spinner bait. Oh my God. I mean, Jesus. These bass are chewing, but man, it's not what I'm here for. 
It's not what I want. I want the pickerel. Bass on. Oh, it's a big bass. This is a big bass. Now we're talking. And again, not what we're here for. We're here for the pickerel. But this is a nice bass to put on the board. There you are. And he was either there was either more than one of them over there, or he hit the blade several times before I got him to take this. Alright, I'm gonna leave her in the water until I get set up here. This one I might actually have to extend the board for. I got my tag. Let me get my phone. Just trying to minimize the stress to this fish. All right. It might be called American Snakehead Custom, but I tell you what, everything eats these spinner baits. Come here. Look at that. Uh oh. Got me all tangled in here? Yeah, you do. Uh, let's get you unhooked then. I will fix what you messed up after I get you back in the water. And what I'm doing here, since I forgot a key component of my fish finder, is I'm looking for where the bait are moving and jumping, and then I'm casting around them. Yeah, that's a better fish. That's a better fish. She'll go 18 and a quarter. Not a monster, don't get me wrong, but that's actually a better bass. Everything else I caught has been 15, 16 inches today. Another absolutely gorgeous bass on the American Snakehead Custom. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's the stuff. All right, beaut. Hey, what's up, bro? Hey, yup. What's the catch? Uh, so far, um, uh oh, float down, float down, float down and running. Uh, no, uh, okay. There All we right. go, there we go. B is freaking pickerel. I'm tearing the bass up, bro, but all I can catch is the darn pickerel. Oh, excuse me, all I can catch is the darn uh, bass. I want to catch no, a. No more pickerel? Nah, not yet, unless this is one. Be a pickerel. Nope, another bass. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro, I am tearing them up. I'm glad because I would have been getting, probably, if I was there, you would have caught all the, all the pickerel and I would have caught all the bass like last time. Well, where are you at then, man? You, 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 I'm not trying. No, I'm good. <laughs> I'm <laughs> you, you hanging me? I, I, I don't need any more, just a, just a, we don't need any more disappointment today. Oh, dude, you'll never found them? <laughs> no, we are already off the water. That sucks, bro. I'll keep catching bass, it's fun, don't get me wrong, but boy, I want some pickerel. Right now I have one small pickerel on the board. And by small, I mean small. Like the one, the one pickerel I have on the board is like 16, 16 and a half. If I could, you know, just get one respectable pickerel today, you know, low 20s, mid 20s, it would really bump my standings, but I'm trying, man. But These pickerels have not been doing anything today. But I'll be thankful for the bass keeping me busy. I'll move over there in a minute. I keep seeing uh, bait fish jump over there. These fish are finally turning on. It's taken pretty much all day for these fish to turn on. I mean, yeah, I've caught some fish here and there, but I mean, now's where I'm really seeing the surface come alive. And that's a different animal. Look at them all. Look at all these shad jumping. They're either shad or... Oh, I can see them in my head, but I can't think of their name. What the heck are those called? Like they're golden in color. Oh heck, I'll think of it later. <laughs> some of these fish moving over here are crappy. Most of them are, but some of them are. GoPro highlight, there's fish jumping everywhere. Ooh. 
something hit it hard. Hit it so hard he knocked it sideways. Oh, there it goes. Slow it down. Slow it down. Fish on. Doesn't feel all that big unless he's running at me. <laughs> it was another bass. <laughs> the breeze has died. And I tell you what, for late November, it feels like heaven out here. God, I swear, I wish I could freeze the, <laughs> the sun in the sky so badly. And just do this for like the next, I don't know, 20 hours. <laughs> and another fish jumpy jumping over there. Come on, where are you at? Oh, oh you oh, son of a gun. Stop hitting the blades. So casting this out, <clears throat> letting her sink to the bottom and then slow rolling it, essentially reeling it just fast enough to keep it off the bottom. That's been how most of my strikes have been coming. Uh, that sun's getting dangerously close to the freaking trees, folks. Time is almost up. Well, folks, I've done my best. I really thought that with today's weather, and you can see just how beautiful it is, I really, really thought that these pickerel would be eating today. And as you can see, the bass were. The bass were definitely hidden. I don't know why the pickerel weren't. So, I mean, I checked shoreline, I checked deeper water, I've been bouncing off and around timber pretty much all day. If there's another area, I don't know about it. <laughs> another kind of structure I should have been hitting, put it that way. I don't know. I don't know where they were today. Luckily, the bass kept me busy. It would have been a long day without those bass. Boy, it would have been a long day. Ooh, got fish spooking in front of me. If I could have just got one good pickerel today, I really could have bumped myself up in the standings, but it was not meant to be. I'm going to be walking back this Pro Angler 12, which I love, don't get me wrong. Thank you as always, DPS. <laughs> but I'm going to be walking this Pro Angler back roughly two or three miles over uneven terrain on what's going to amount to a steady incline. My forearms <laughs> and grip strength is going to be destroyed and I will be huffing and puffing. I'll be warm. That's the upside to it. I will definitely be warm. But man, I have got a trek ahead of me. But I wanted to work out today. Well, I already got one and I'm about to get another. <laughs> But hey, thanks for joining me out here, folks. Most productive lure for the day, without a doubt, was the American Snakehead Custom Spinnerbait. That's a double-bladed serrated willow leaf. Although I did end up getting, I think, three or four float drops on the minnow, which makes me feel a little bit better about buying them. <laughs> so thanks much to Edgemere Bait and Tackle for hooking me up with the minnows. But as of right now, I'm about to take out and begin my long walk back to the ramp. No, not even the ramp, <laughs> the parking lot. <laughs> so, you have a good one, folks. I'll catch you next time. Holy crap. Nice bass. Big bass. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I'm glad I entered that big bass side pot. <laughs> oh, wow. 
That is a nice one, folks. Man, it's a nice bass. Let's get this big girl measured and back in the water. She's got to be close to four pounds. She would be four if she wasn't so skinny, but uh, that's the way of it in these ponds sometimes. Come on, where's my tag? Where are you? Come on, where are you at? Did I lose my tag for real? Oh, I lost my tag. We can't have anyone freak out out there, okay? We've got to keep our composure. We've come too far. There's too much to lose. We've got to keep our composure. I have an idea. I have an idea. Okay, let's do this. I'm going to spell it out using fishing lures. C. 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 A. Two. <laughs> Here are you. That's a really. I mean, if she was actually like full and healthy, man. I mean, she would just be an absolute pig. See, C C A two spelled out with fishing lures. So I lost my tag. <laughs> there it is. Let's get you back in the water. And there she is. One more shot. What a beaut. That's almost a fister. Really close to a fister. Thank you so much. Made my day. Whenever you're ready, there you go. Yeah! Improvise, adapt, overcome. <laughs> oh, there's my tag. Oh, I found my tag, folks. <laughs> I just found my tag. I didn't lose it. It was just farther under my seat. Oh, for goodness sake. Well, good drill. <laughs> Look. CCA2. There it is. Blessed be.